Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the content browser. So this is where you would store all your your files and stuff and it's a really good way of organizing your, your material. Uh, plus it's also easy for others to access if you send it to them and yeah, it'll, it'll store all the textures and everything in it, so really cool. So to, to so, okay, so let's go under presets, you can also click up here and it'll uh, direct you to the presets folder and this will contain all your files so file new preset library and name let's name this tutorial and then we can we just created a new file in the preset library and we can drag and drop these items in by selecting them all and just drag and dropping them and as you can see it's cr it's uh, loaded up the objects and it's gonna create previews for them and it's also gonna store the textures in here so don't delete this text box <laughs> so yeah um, so that makes it really easy to share because it's going to contain the textures as well so also keep in mind you can make new folders name it whatever and you can organize your stuff um, as long as you don't move this text folder so if you move this say into here it's gonna mess up the, the directories and it should have played black as you can see so yeah keep in mind it's a very good way of organizing your things like I've done here with my rig so skins I have all my skins in here I have all my other stuff in here and yeah so it's a really awesome way of um, organizing your files and yeah, so, so say you want to send this file to someone. So I do this a lot because I make uh, character rigs and stuff. So I sell them. Uh, and yeah, you can send this to someone by just clicking show in Explorer. And then it should pop up here. So control C and then you hit control V on the desktop. So now this appears here, right? And you can either double click it and it'll automatically load in Cinema 4D or you can install it. It's always advised to install the lib 4d folder because then the textures won't have a problem being directed properly i don't know how to explain that but it, so to install the lib 4d folder we all all we have to do is click on right click on cinema 4d open file location library browser and there we go that's why you have to put all your lib 4d folders that you um you 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 download so click and drag it and then you just click continue and it'll like uh, do its thing and then you restart Cinema 4D and it shall appear in your content browser. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next tutorial.